Hey guys, it's Sakura and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. Let me look at the issue where basically on um, Android, which could be a phone or a tablet, you're basically connected to Wi-Fi, but you're unable to um, browse the internet. So basically your Wi-Fi is connected and you have no internet access. All right. So the first thing I'm just going to demonstrate here, as you can see, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network here and I'll just turn this on. I'll go into Wi-Fi. As you can see here, there is the D-Link network and for some reason it's connected, but it's saying, or I could connect. Alright, so as you can see there, I'm connected, but um, later on when I go to browse, for example, I'll use um, a simple web browser such as this one right here. And if I try to go to a website... As you can see there, it says uh, web page not available. So, um, and on this network, everything else is browsing, but the phone won't connect as you are seeing here. So basically, we're going to show you how to fix this. But the first thing I want to try, guys, is a tablet or phone is to go into your settings. All right. And I'm just demonstrating how to fix the problem. I've used this and it has worked in most cases. And once you're in here, just go to date and time. Once you're on the date and time, guys, it's going to set the date to the correct date. Make sure it's um, set. All right. Um, in case it's the automatic time zone that's giving you the issue, you can actually either turn that off or actually set it manually so it will keep the time correctly. So just set the date and make sure you set the time and make sure both are correct. And in most cases, um, after doing that, your um, browsing should return and you'll be able to browse. It may sound simple, but for most people, that is the issue. Now, second thing for other people is, guys, you're going to try this. This is the second method. You're going to go um, into settings. Once you're in settings, guys, you can look for backup and reset. It might just say reset. You're going to go into reset. And do not worry. I'm not going to tell you to delete anything off your phone. So basically, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to reset network settings. Notice this is different from um, factory reset. Factory reset will delete your data. But we're just going to use um, network settings. I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And as you see here, it says it's only going to erase data pertaining to um, Wi-Fi settings, cellular data, Bluetooth. So basically, you won't lose anything of importance. Once you do that reset, guys, and come back, if it's a phone problem, you should now start be able to browse. Um, if you don't have this option, you might have to back up and do a factory reset. But I do not advise you only do this as a last resort. So guys... You can only attempt this one as a last resort, the factory reset, in case you don't have um, network reset. But I advise you use network reset as it's much simpler. All right? And last, for this, the last step, we'll need to go to um, my um, computer, which I'll show you how to actually log into your router. And we'll take it from there as to change some settings or modify some settings. Hey guys, so we're back and I'm on the desktop. So I suggest that you connect to the Wi-Fi that you're currently on. You're going to use Internet Explorer at work as it works best. And once you're in Internet Explorer and connected to the D-Link router, or the um, thing you're going to type in 192.168.0.1 if it's a D-Link router. For other routers, I advise that you look at the back of the router as I'm going to show you on screen here. The information should be there as how to actually log in. Right? So it might be 192.168.1.1 Alright, once the, as you can see, I'm connected to the D-Link router as with the phone from before and of course, make sure the password remains as admin and of course, again, the password is going to be um, blank for yours, it's going to be different the information should be on the back of your router it varies according to routers, alright so once you log in, guys, you can look for your wireless setting again, your router might be a little bit different so I got one to just explore and look around um, as you can see here, I'm in wireless setting under setup. And um, as again, guys, yours might be set up. You can set it up um, anew if you know what you're doing, or you might just need to adjust a single setting. So um, just look around and familiarize yourself with the um, settings. You're going to go on um, manual, which is um, this setup option here. Um, as you can see, I'm just demonstrating. And as you see, I'm on the right page for wireless. And what you're going to do here, guys, is you can look for. Um, the right setting um, as you can see here there's a bunch of settings and the one we're looking for is the 80211 uh, mode and of course as you can see it's right here and what we're going to do is just change this from the default settings to 8011b and you will have to need to set that or 
if you're not going to use the a to 11 b you can use the a to 11 g settings so you're going to set it to either channel either the g or the b channel as you're seeing here as i'm showing all right and one of these will allow your phone to browse because what's happening here is that um, with the other options it will not allow your android phone and sometimes your tablets to browse especially your phones so you need to set it to one of these modes either a to 11 g or a to 11 b and you'll have to test both so you're just going to simply select one and of course your security mode should be already set um, if not if it's the first time you're setting up your router you can go ahead and run back through the um, options for setting your security mode all right so once you have done that make sure that you save your settings that's very important of course um, the settings are going to take effect and it's going to show you that it's going to take a few seconds for the settings to be set so guys just remember after this you can actually um, ignore this window or close it out and then of course you can try connecting again with your phone and it should work all right guys Ricardo from blog tech tips with another set of quick tech tips if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe and check the bell icon Ricardo from blog tech tips and bye until next time bye